For decades, Chinese athletes have dominated the lighter weight classes in Olympic weightlifting. Scores of Olympic and world champions with incredible physiques, but most of them weighing under 70 kilograms. The heaviest Chinese athlete to ever take a medal in the Olympics is Tian Tao during the 2016 Rio Olympics, weighing at just 84.85 kilos. We have never seen a Chinese athlete in the heavier weight classes win an Olympic medal. While at the 2024 Paris Games, the favorite for gold in the heavyweight 102 kilo men's division is China's athlete Liu Huanhua. He holds multiple world records in this category. The young 22 year old looks poised to take home gold, but he is not the runaway favorite. There are two reigning Olympic champions and multiple continental champions with good enough totals to medal. In the women's 81 kilo category, a reigning Olympic champion faces off against two world champions and a few dark horses that can cause some problems for the top three. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to check out my previous videos on the lighter weight classes. Now, let's get started with the men's 102 category. Also known as Giga Chad, China's Liu Huanhua is the world record holder in the clean and jerk, lifting 232 kilograms in this discipline. He is also the world record holder in the total at 413 kilograms. Now, he is coming in with a conservative entry total of 400 kilos. He's probably going to have to break his own world record as the last time Giga Chad faced off against the closest competitor, Akbar Jiraev. Giga Chad beat him by just one kilo, hitting a 418 kilo total, six kilos above his own world record. Now, they were both competing at a heavier weight class at the time, but it just goes to show you what they can do. Either way, Giga Chad is still a young lifter that just keeps getting better and better. Now he's only been a 102 lifter since September of 2023, so he hasn't even been a full year in the category. I don't think we've seen Liu Huanhua at the strongest he can be, because it does take some time to fill out the weight classes and have those extra calories translate into extra kilos in the lift. All things considered, China's Liu Huanhua is my pick for gold in this category. He will be China's first heavyweight Olympic champion in weightlifting. One of two Olympic champions in this category, Akbar Jiraev representing Uzbekistan won gold in the heavier 109 kilo category back in Tokyo. He is cutting down to the 102 class for these Olympics and that can be a good and a bad thing. A good thing in that his body is already accustomed to these heavier weights, both mentally and physically. If he pulls on a world record lift in this category, it's going to be a weight that he's already done in training. It can be a bad thing, however, in that cutting weight always leads to a loss of strength. How much loss in strength is up to the athlete and their preparation going in. With that being said, Jurayev is going in with the highest entry total of 407 kilograms. His highest total recently is 437 kilograms, but that was at a heavier body weight of 120 kilos. The question for Jurayev is how many kilos can he hold on to as he sheds body weight? With all these things considered, Jurayev is my pick for silver in this category. The second reigning Olympic champion, Fares Elbak, known as Meso Hasuna, is representing Qatar. He won gold in the lighter weight class of 96 kilos in Tokyo. Now Meso is in a great position because he's going up in body weight and it's always easier for the lifter to go up in body weight than to cut down. Because of this, I might have even picked Meso over Jiraev for silver. However, Meso did get injured in the Phuket training hall back in April of this year. So we don't know exactly how in shape Meso is coming into these games. But the little we did see, things were looking promising. He posted this 180 kilo snatch on his Instagram. This was in the Phuket training hall before his injury. And as you can see, that bar is flying. His best competition snatch ever is 178 kilos, so he's definitely got more in the tank. He also posted this 220 kilo routine looking clean and jerk. And I say he's looking good for at least another 15 kilos. If Meso comes in shape, I can see him taking at least bronze. Now there are still a couple of lifters in this category that can still contend for medals. We have a young Garik Karapetian representing Armenia, a nation rich in weightlifting history. Coming in with his highest competition total of 401 kilograms, he put down an entry total of 405 kilograms. The Armenians are not known for picking conservative numbers, so I think he's going to go after some big lifts to get himself on the podium. The top three lifters are going to have to make a choice between playing it smart and risk getting outlifted by gutsy attempts, or go for big lifts and risk missing those lifts. Another notable mention is world champion Lesman Paredes, a Colombian-born lifter representing the country of Bahrain. He is coming in with an entry total of 390 kilograms. We have no idea what Lesman can do, as he has only competed once as a 102 lifter in the past three years. 
Now he has totaled 400 kilos before as a lighter 96 kilo lifter. So it's going to be interesting to see how many kilos he can add to his total with the heavier body weight. So to summarize, I predict that China's Liu Huanhua will take home the gold. Uzbekistan's Akbar Jurayev will take home the silver and Qatar's Meso Hasuna will take home the bronze medal. And now moving on to the women's 81 kilo category. The top three lifters in this category are only separated by three kilos, so there is no clear front runner for gold. The top three lifters are Ecuador's Nesi Dahomes, Egypt's Sara Ahmed, and Norway's Solfrid Koanda, with a dark horse in the fourth spot that we'll get into. My pick for gold is Norway's Solfrid, with the lowest entry total out of the top three of 250 kilograms. In this case, where it's highly competitive, I do think the safer entry total is the better way to go, simply because you have a higher chance of making all your lifts. Not to mention, Solfrid has actually hit the highest competition total out of the three at 280 kilograms, which she just hit in February of this year, although it was at a heavier body weight of 85 kilograms. But still, I think she can definitely cut those four kilos and retain enough strength to win gold. She perhaps won't hit the 280 kilo total, but if she can hit 270 kilos, that's still more than any of the other lifters have done in this category. Now, my pick for silver is going to be Ecuador's Nesi Dahomes. Coming in with an entry total of 255 kilograms, she lifted her best competition total of 269 kilograms in April of this year in Phuket. She has also lifted above 260 kilograms in the past three competitions leading up to the Olympics, so she has been pretty consistent at these weights. The fact that Nesi doesn't have to cut or alter her body weight may even give her an advantage over Solfri, but we'll see. If Nacy can make all six of her lifts, I think she's a shoe in for silver, possibly even gold. Now my pick for bronze is going to be the dark horse in this category. It is the fourth ranked lifter coming in with an entry total of 268 kilograms. Eileen Chikamatana representing Australia. Eileen has been very consistent in hitting totals above 260 kilograms in the past four competitions leading up to the Olympics. Whereas the third ranked lifter in the category Egypt's Sara Ahmed. Ahmed hit her best competition total of 268 kilograms back in May of 2023. She has not made a total above 260 kilograms since then. Now it does worry me a little bit that Chika Matana has the second highest entry total in this category. I think if she plays it safe and she's able to nail all three attempts, she'll be better off than going for big fuck off weights that have a higher likelihood of missing. But I'm sure the coaches know what they're doing. So in conclusion, I am picking Norway's Solfrid Koanda for gold, Ecuador's Nesi Dahomes will take home silver, and Australia's Eileen Chikamatana will take home bronze in this category. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this video here. Check out my previous videos on the other weight classes. Thank you for watching. Peace.